Welcome to the MTI and DTC Student Loan Management Department Frequently Asked Questions video. The goal of this video is to answer questions that you may have about your student loans. So let's get started. Here's a list of some frequently asked questions that we receive from our students in regards to their student loans upon graduation. Some of the questions you might have are, how long is my grace period? What are my options for my repayment plan? What if I can't repay my loans? Who do I contact if I have questions? And what happens if I default? Let's walk through each of these and get the answers. Let's start with the grace period. The grace period is a period of six months that you have to begin repayment on your student loans after graduation or after you leave school or drop below half-time enrollment. There are three types of repayment plans, standard, graduated, and income driven. The standard repayment plan is a set monthly payment over the course of 10 years. The graduated repayment plan starts out with a lower monthly payment, but you will have increases every two years. And the income driven repayment plan is based off of your income, household size, and student loan debts. These plans offer interest subsidy for the first three years and loan forgiveness after 20 years. What if I have trouble repaying? Well, there's a couple different options. First, you can postpone payments by qualifying for a deferment or using general forbearance time. Or you can switch to a different repayment option that better fits your situation. If you have questions, you can contact your loan servicer or a member of the MTI DTC loan management team. A loan servicer is someone contracted by the Department of Education to service you when your loans come into repayment. And a member of our MTI DTC loan management team is available to assist you with any questions you have. Our office can help you with postponing your payments or switch to a different repayment plan. What happens if I don't pay all my student loans? After 270 days, your student loans will be in a default status and the government can do several things. They can garnish your wages up to 15%. They can withhold federal and state income tax refunds. You will be ineligible for federal student aid if you want to return to school. You may not be eligible for certain types of employment either. And you may not be able to obtain credit to rent an apartment, buy a new car, or purchase a new home. If you haven't completed your exit counseling online, go to studentloans.gov. This website is a good informational tool regarding your student loans. This site will inform you of who will be servicing your loans, loan balance, different repayment plans, and it will help you budget your loan payments into your monthly bills and much more. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, please contact one of our loan management specialists below.